Looks like he's just chilling. All right, and now we're and now we're back for part two. Uh, press R1, press the R1 button to go to Guppy Mound. Now there's three different um, there's three different uh slides, it's three three different slopes for us to go down. Guppy Mound, Flounder Hill, and Sand Mountain itself. This is the easy course, as you would assume. We got Guppy Mound. We got Miss Puff there. Look at all this. We're we're just gonna make so much epic maneuvers and monies and monies, and that's where we're gonna go get our spatula at the end of the course. I've gone down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. I would imagine it was funny to push you, <laughs> if only I'd been there. Except time challenge, yes. Now you'll come across quite a, quite a few of these in the game. Um, this is Mrs. Puff's challenge, 121. Obviously it's gonna be pretty easy because we're on the easy course. Flounder Hill is the second, uh, it's like the second level, and then uh, it's it's like normal difficulty, and then hard mode is Sand Mountain. Light that up. We're gonna about to, we're gonna make about to make back make make our money back with a super ultra mega monster combo. We just met the sponge named her. Also, uh. I don't want religion in my game. <laughs> okay, no, we're not. We're not going there. That's an old joke. That's an old joke. And besides, I'm pretty sure that that was completely unintentional. <laughs> anyway, I say I seriously do think. I don't. I don't know. You leave your thoughts. I don't know. I personally, I don't think it is quite a coincidence. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Teleport box open. Let's go down. That's fun. Yeah. These some sweet tunes for sliding. Completely relaxing. Oh yeah, so relaxing. Get that sock. Now we got enough to retrieve the patch. We just press the button and a boulder came down. There's a sandy one. Kabam! Oh! Okay, watch this guy right here. Fail! <laughs> this is just, I'm gonna play Epic Minimum for that shit, because his aim is just so bad, it deserves one. <laughs> Also, there's a sock down there. Uh, all right. Now it is worth noting. Um, we're at the we're at the end, right? By the way, it is worth noting that um, there is at, at the edge of the painting, at the end, of, at the edge of the slow gaps here. Oh, 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 oh man, that was just get that sock. Woo! Yeah, he does need to do laundry. All right, but boom, and now. We're back here. You win. All right, batteries ran low. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, we you win. Return this puff for your award. Now, every time you, every time you um, complete a slope, break that, all of that. Oh God, thundercloud! Run! Shoot! He's gonna get me, even though he's not a threatening an enemy. Boom! All right, so you gotta destroy the spawners, obviously, and then take all these. The rest of these guys down, downtown Mr. Brown, mm. while sliding on ice. Also, the camera is not cooperating with me. SpongeBob just dancing around that ice, that ice, ice baby. Love this music. All right, so we got these buttons to press here. They'll open the gate for us. In quite the Indiana Jones style fashion. See that boulder way off in the distance on the left there? Boom! Da 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 da! <laughs> oh, oh my god, it's, oh, it's gone. I'm sad. I wanted that boulder to stay there so I could try to hit it and break it. <laughs> nah, that can't happen, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, what I was gonna say was as you notice on the. as we were jumping over the gaps uh, in that slide, you'll notice that there was different colored paintings. There was orange and blue. <laughs> Orange means it's safe to double jump and single jump on the on the slides, but if it's blue, then that means you literally have to double jump or else you won't make the jump. There is one on a different slide that is actually possible to single jump, but it's kind of tricky to do. Uh, other than that, let's grab our reward. Our two rewards, actually. Mwah. And uh, we'll go back to Miss Puff, collect the second reward, the second breakfast. Uh, light that up. Go into the teleportation box and 
Back in it. Congratulations! You pass with flying colors! That's what she gonna say when I get my license. Hell yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Puff. I'd like to thank the Academy. And not you, Mrs. Puff. Ah, oh god. Oh! Oh god! Get that away! Oh god! Oh, don't look to the left when in that shot. Don't look to the left at all in that shot, please. Well, if it isn't my uh, favorite student. I am your favorite. Get right, man. All right, and this this woman is just get away from me. She's looking at me funny. I don't like it. Anyway, uh, now we shall go back to the ski lodge and go to the second slide. Now there is a way to get a Super Ultra Mega Monster combo in the hub world here. The little uh, sand mountain hub world. Now if I just wait here, um, the robot placement has to be precise though pretty precise. Now you see that robot right there? If it's near those two robots that are d hit milling about over the Thunder, Thunder Tiki area, if that, if that, if that, uh, uh, chop bot right over there just gets, um, stays there, where, where, right there, and I hit this and I blow up all that, all that crap right down there, I can get a Super Ultra Mega Monster combo, but unfortunately that cannot happen. Like Instead I just earn a... Instead, I just earn a um, Mega Monster combo, which isn't bad, but you know, we could, we we made better. In fact, we made a lot better. Anyway, um, take out take out these guys real real fast. Nope, I ain't letting you have I ain't letting you have none of this. Ba boom! Oh crap! Same thing happened again. All right, now we're gonna be Sandy for real quick. Oh, uh, she is actually probably one of the best sliders in the game. SpongeBob comes a really close second. Um, the reason why she's the best is because she's because she's got this pretty much. So pretty much breaks the point of oh shit I fell I fell off the slide I can I can just oh right back down there. Also she has a surfboard. She has a seashell for a surfboard which is awesome. Uh, Patrick is probably the worst one. He doesn't really have as much leeway as the others as the other two. Uh, other than that, let's talk to Gary here. What you want? What you want, my little snail? Let's go to Spatula. Don't say. Well, there must be a way up there. Sure there is. There always is. Oh, I thought she was going to say something. <laughs> Kick Gary in the face. All the way up there? Well, there must be a way up. There is, actually. The little known fact just... Woohoo! Just go all the way up here. Oh, it's actually... Oh. <laughs> Take that, all right, pre-pushed button. Thanks, SpongeBob. I, didn't, I actually didn't know it stayed pressed, honestly. I kind of forgot about that. Now, you don't really have to go through all that swing shit right over there. Just just, just go right all, all the way over here, and you'll get yourself the golden spatula. Just like that. Hiya! There's toilet paper hanging there. Look at all that. Where the paper, man? Alright, now we go back all the way over here, switch back to SpongeBob, because we're awesome. And then, now we gotta pay another 1500 for the lift ticket. Oh, damn. I didn't hit a single one of these tiki's, which is a good thing. Yeah, alright, nice, nice. Now we go over here, and then. In the next part, we shall pay. We shall pay. Would you like to pay 1,500 shiny objects for the lift ticket to Flounder Hill? Yes, I would. And next time, we shall go to Flounder Hill and see what it has to offer for us. Probably the most challenging sock challenge in this. Yeah, it is. <laughs> nice. Uh, probably the, um, the most difficult sock challenge in the game, at least for me. One of the most difficult. So until then, see you guys next time.